Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we're gonna take a look today at Amazon Prime Video and how you can download content that's part of your subscription plan to Android devices like this one, uh, which have SD cards. So not only can you download stuff to your internal memory, but you can pop in a, a rather large SD card and get a lot of content loaded up on your tablet when you're on the road. And this video was inspired by a friend of mine who contacted me the other day uh, because her kids are Netflix watchers. In fact, that's their uh, exclusive media consumption app that they use in the house. So they stop buying media because they can find so much stuff on Netflix to watch. But uh, her mobile data plan has been getting killed because the kids are watching in the car. And even though they've turned down the video quality and everything, they're still uh, having a big problem here. This will solve that because you can go onto the Amazon Prime Video service, which has not everything Netflix has, but a lot of original content and a number of uh, kids kid-friendly stuff uh, that you can download onto your device ahead of time and then watch it offline without consuming mobile data. We're going to take a look at it on uh, this NVIDIA Shield tablet. This is is running Android 6.0, but this will work on just about any Android device uh, that can get the Amazon Video app working. I have it already installed an SD card on here, uh, so if you have a phone that has an SD card slot, many do, you can stick that card in uh, and get working, and you don't need to set it up as internal storage. You can leave it as portable storage if your device asks you about that, and it should work fine. It's been working fine here as portable storage on this particular tablet. I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that this video is not being paid for by Amazon. This is completely my own organic creation. All the opinions you're going to hear are my own. Nobody is reviewing this content before it is posted, but I do want to disclose that NVIDIA did provide this NVIDIA Shield tablet to us a while ago. Uh, I use it quite a bit on productions such as this one. So let's get started here and dig into this. Now you can uh, get this already if you have an Amazon branded tablet. They often come with that video app pre-installed. So you can skip ahead a little bit till I get to the download portion uh, because nothing you're about to see here will be relevant to you if you have an Amazon device already. Also, if you have an iOS device, you can download the Amazon Video Player from the uh, Apple Amp App Store, uh, but you can't download video onto external storage on Apple. This is why I'm pointing at Android here, because this is a little bit more flexible, especially as uh, external storage goes. But the Amazon devices will work uh, with SD cards. So you go to Amazon.com slash underground, because the first thing you have to do is install the Amazon app, and you have to install it in an unofficial way, because because Amazon doesn't put their video app on the Google Play Store. They're having a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a dispute with Google right now over their video service, and they make it really hard, unfortunately, for consumers uh, to actually take advantage of what they offer. So your first step, amazon.com slash underground. And before you download it, uh, you have to go into your system settings real quick. So I'm gonna pull down my uh, system settings menu up here. Uh, there are a couple different ways to get to it. You can also get to it from your home screen here. So if I uh, go over to our app selection here, you'll often see that gear icon for settings. And you have to go down to security. And this might look a little bit different on your device depending on uh, which one you're using. I'm gonna use my mouse here so you can see what I'm pointing at. Uh, we're gonna select security and we're going to go uh, scroll down a little bit here until we see uh, the unknown sources option. And we want to turn that on. You could probably turn it off later, but you're going to get a warning here that you are not going to have as much protection because you're installing apps from a source other than Google. Uh, you'll click okay here. Again, I do suggest maybe turning this off uh, just so that you can protect yourself later, but generally you should be safe provided you're not explicitly installing apps beyond this first one we're putting on there. So we're gonna say unknown sources on. Uh, now that we're done with that, we're going to go back out to our web browser here and go back to the uh, uh, Amazon Underground web page. I'm gonna click on Get Amazon Underground, and what this will do is download the app that we have to install. And they've already uh, instructed us here to do the steps that we've already taken here as far as turning on unknown sources. You'll get another warning that this is going to be a potential harm to your device. If you get it from Amazon, you will be okay. Just click okay here. Uh, that will download. And when it's done, uh, what we're going to do is instruct the uh, device here to install that app. So let's wait for that to download. It's ready to go. We'll click on open here. And now we'll see that Amazon APK up on the list and I'm going to uh, just click on that. And what'll happen now is it will uh, give us a prompt to install, which I'll do. And we'll let this install. And when it's done, we still have another step to take. So let's let this finish and we'll come back. Okay, the app has been installed, and you'll notice that when I go back out to my home screen, we don't see it, and that is because it doesn't automatically put itself on your homepage. So you may wanna pop into your 
full list of apps and you'll see that we have uh, the Amazon app now available. I'm just going to uh, drop this onto my home screen here. Now this Amazon underground app that we just installed, again, is not available through Google Play. So you have to go to Amazon and follow the steps that we just did to do this. There are Amazon apps on Google Play, but the one you need is this one, not the ones you can get from Google directly. So uh, do those steps because otherwise you're going to be spinning your wheels for quite a while here. So we're going to open up uh, the Amazon underground app store and uh, one of the things that we're not going to cover in this video but is worth mentioning is that if you are a Prime subscriber, uh, you also get access to a lot of apps that might be paid apps on the Google Play Store for free on the Amazon Store. So it's definitely worth uh, poking around a bit to see what you can find. I did find a couple of fun Elmo games for my daughter that were a couple bucks on the Google Play Store but freely available to me as a Prime subscriber in the Underground Store. So I'm going to log into my Amazon account here and then we'll continue on. All right, so let's take a look and dig out that Amazon video app now. As I mentioned, you can find a lot of great stuff here for free. Uh, so definitely have a look at that. I'm just going to do a quick search here for uh, Amazon video and uh, we'll go over to that op option there. We should see the Amazon video app pop up first. We're going to grab it over here. Again, this is not on Google Play. You have to do it through the Amazon app store here. We have another app to install now. So we're going to click on install, let that one uh, find its way to our device and then we can hopefully start downloading some videos. So let's let that go and we'll be back in another second. Okay, so the app has been downloaded and there's another step on the Amazon store that you have to follow here, which is to install it. So we'll click on install. This will pop up automatically after that app finishes downloading. So we've got the app installed here, so we're going to open it now. And by the way, this will also appear as the other one did uh, in our uh, main list of apps. So you can move it over to your home screen at some point after you get everything up and running. So we'll go on to uh, the uh, app here. We'll continue on to Amazon Video and we'll start exploring what's available to us. Now, I am a Prime subscriber, and this is a requirement for this, but uh, you will have the ability to start downloading things onto your device. So my daughter really likes to watch Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, for example. Uh, if we go into the list of seasons here, you can see that uh, on the list of uh, Daniel Tiger, we have six seasons available free of charge. So if there is a Prime label next to it, uh, those are available as part of your subscription plan. So I can click on that. Maybe what I'll do here is download the first episode in the season. And what it's going to do here now that it knows that I have an SD card installed, it's going to ask me if I want to use that as the default location. And I'll say yes, use that SD card. Uh, so we'll let that start downloading to the card. Uh, there are some settings which I'll show you to uh, adjust the video quality that you might get out of there. So you pull down the menu on the side and go over to settings. Now you'll notice an option here for download quality. I have mine set to good right now and uh, this is fine for a small device like a phone or a tablet because these screens are smaller so the kids aren't really going to know the difference between a super HD version and uh, maybe something that downloads at a DVD like resolution. My three-year-old certainly doesn't know but if you are looking for better quality you can set it to best and have a higher quality video stream down when you are using it like that so that is an option there. Another thing to look at here is the mobile network for video. This will be relevant relevant if you're using this on a cell phone. So if you're afraid that your kid might start watching something that might require the consumption of data, you can go in here and restrict it only to Wi-Fi networks. So if the phone is not on Wi-Fi, it won't download or stream anything, uh, but you can watch what's already on the device. And there's also ways to set the quality of video. So if you want to allow them to stream but not eat up too much of your data, just leave it on uh, good quality and you should be uh, fine to go from there. I'm going to switch back now to my other camera view here so we don't get in trouble with the copyright police. I'm going to go down to my downloads folder here and now we have Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood uh, ready to play. What I'm going to do though is turn off my Wi-Fi first here so that we'll get a true offline experience. And the app is reporting that our device is offline here. So what I'm going to do now is try to play this back uh, while we are offline. Let's see what happens here. Now I'm going to get a warning on the screen and what this says is that there's a 48 hour offline viewing period. So once I start watching this, I have 48 hours to get this device back onto the internet at some point so that that download can keep being watched in the future. So I think all it really takes is just to get it into a Starbucks or someplace where you can get internet access quickly on a uh, tablet device or if you're on a phone, uh, if it's just on the cellular data plan, as long as that video is downloaded, it won't pull it down again. It just sends back some licensing data to validate uh, that you're able to play it. Uh, but we're going to say here is just watch now uh, and then it'll start playing back that video for us. And this is coming off of that SD card now 
and not off of the internet. So a great way to watch a lot of these things and uh, do so offline. Now you do need to give yourself some time to download all of this. Even at the good connection, uh, like an hour, half hour episode of Daniel Tiger does take uh, maybe about 10 minutes or so to download an episode. It might vary based on your internet connection and what the, uh, the conditions are at the time, but definitely plan ahead. I haven't found any real limit to what I can download. I loaded up my daughter's uh, tablet with a bunch of stuff before they went on a car trip this weekend. So uh, things have been really working quite well with this and I think this is a very good solution especially if you're trying to give your kids something to watch and you don't have a lot of media uh, locally that you can install on your device you can just grab it off of the prime service and be ready to go with it now my only gripe on the Amazon video app at the moment is that there is no kid specific interface so children have to go and dig around all the other stuff they shouldn't be looking at to get to the things that they want to see I'll show you some parental controls in a minute but uh, you can of course get it down to specific categories but you have to navigate there. I've been teaching my daughter just to go over to the downloads folder. A little bit easier with a three-year-old, but younger kids might have a problem with that. Now, if you are worried about them finding things they shouldn't watch, there are parental controls that you can adjust, but you have to go to a web page to do it. And let me show you what that page looks like right here. I'll put a link to it uh, down below in the video description. So what you can do is set up a PIN number uh, so that if they were to stumble upon that content, they would need to know your PIN to play it back. And you can restrict that on specific devices here. So uh, right now I've got this no restriction set at all, but maybe I'll uh, bring this slider back down to uh, the G section here and that will limit it just for uh, little kids. And then what you can do is go down and find the device that you've authorized. Apparently you have a bunch of uh, devices here authorized already uh, to, to apply those restrictions to. So my daughter's I, uh, Android device, whichever one it might be of the gazillion that I have there, uh, I can set those restrictions on there and that would prevent her from accidentally playing something back uh, when I don't want her to too. So there are some controls, but not as elegant as I've seen on other platforms, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of great content on here. It would be really nice as a parent uh, to be able to download stuff and restrict what my daughter can get access to and make it a little bit easier for her. I did uh, let Amazon know when I was putting this video together via a Twitter that it'd be very nice to see that in the near future. But for those of us who don't mind the lack of kid interface, uh, you can get around very easily on here, find a lot of great content, download it onto your device ahead of time, and go on from there and save yourself a lot of bandwidth in the process. Now this may also work very well for those of us who have restrictions on the amount of data we can consume on our home internet connections. So if you are on Comcast uh, here in the United States, they often have uh, caps on how much data you can use before they start charging you more. Uh, Netflix consumes a ton of data. So if you're able to download the show that your kid watches over and over again once and they can play it back as many times as they want after downloading it, uh, that's going to save a ton of bandwidth and it may end up saving you money too. So that might be another reason to consider this, especially if your kid's favorite show uh, is on this thing. It would again be very nice to have a child-specific interface that doesn't yet exist, but uh, there are some real benefits and some money-saving opportunities here, especially if you are already an Amazon Prime member. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.